Hey guys, I wanted to make a video here about the Paranoid Android Custom ROM on my Nexus 5. You can see I'm running the latest version available right now, that's 4.1 beta. It is still a beta, so a lot of their main features that we saw on previous versions of their ROM are not quite available yet. Things like Halo and hybrid settings aren't here. They've only just included Pi in this build, and they're doing things a little bit differently, and I'll explain what I mean by that a little bit later. This is not a full ROM review. I just wanted to show you guys what's available from Paranoid Android right now and what direction they're taking because they are taking a different direction from other ROMs. They're doing things a little bit differently. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is pretty much how it looks directly after flashing. I haven't even signed into my Gmail account yet, but on other custom ROMs, I'd normally dive into the settings here and see what's available for me to customize. I'd normally find a section that says customization. You're not gonna find any of those in PA ROM. You're not gonna find a section that says PA customization, tweaks, status bar tweaks, nav bar tweaks. They are not gonna be in the settings. They're trying to keep things very clean, very streamlined, very professional, and I guess the only way to put it is a little bit less geeky and they are doing it quite well and well basically this is what I mean one of the features here is quick pull down it's a great feature on any custom ROM it is available in PA in this build right here but there isn't an option in the settings you don't have to go and dive through all the settings the way you activate it is to pull down from the right hand side and you'll get an option that says would you like the edge of the status bar to pull down quick settings so they're giving it to you when you need it directly when it actually affects you you don't have to go through loads of settings you got no ask later and yes once you've pressed yes, that's it, it's now on. You can't go into the settings and exactly toggle something to turn it off or customize it, it's just on. So they're making things very streamlined. If you do actually wanna reset that setting, you have to go into backup and reset and hit reset preferences. If you do click that, it does give you an option to reset just one preference or all the preferences altogether. So there's not too much to worry about there. Next up, we've got the quick toggles. And in another custom ROM, you'd probably have to go through the menus to actually customize this section, to rearrange them, to add them. Not in PA's ROM, not in their vision right now. What you have to do is tap the button up here. You'll see some actually just appear. If you want them to actually be present, you just have to click them. They'll kind of zoom in and press the button again and they'll now be there. If you don't want uh, certain tiles to be there, you just unclick them and you'll see it'll all rearrange. The graphics look really nice on this. It all kind of rearranges and the animations are nice. And you can also move them around just by holding them and rearranging them like that and that's it they'll ping around and it's rearranged so it makes things very streamlined like i said before and really simple to use you don't have to navigate through loads of different settings like you do on a lot of other custom roms if we check out pi here we'll just have to turn back on the immersive mode we'll just turn this on if we click immersive mode again it's going to ask you straight away would you like to use pi controls while in immersive mode and it would hit yes and that's it there's no other configuration for for pi and if we just try it now you can see there's immersive mode and there's pi with its kit kat theming it's all nice and white and transparent looks pretty awesome but uh, that's only just been put into this build so if you're on a previous build you probably won't have pi just yet you'll have to update to 4.1 and let's just get rid of the uh, immersive mode now Turn that back off. And if you see these uh, little icons with this kind of double square on it, you can actually tap those and you'll see it goes through different sections. Kind of nice again, nice animation. Everything is super smooth here. It all works really well. You got an LTE toggle right there. In terms of the status bar tweaks, for example, the battery icon, that is in the battery section. So you can see what they're doing. They're trying, again, to make things really simple. We go into the battery uh, section. This looks a little bit different. You see these two arrows up here. Click those, you've got circle and circle and percent, and you'll see it just changes like that. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. You can definitely see they're going in a slightly different direction to other ROMs. They're trying to make things, I've said it so many times, but more streamlined, more simple for the average user. It seems like they're trying to make a proper build that anyone can flash, not just the geeky people like me on uh, XDA. Some things I haven't mentioned, for example, if you dive into the settings, you go into display, you've got the notification LED settings, so you can actually change up the colors of your LED. And if we go back into security, I believe it is, you can have enable widgets on your lock screen and maximize all widgets on your lock screen. And you can have a see-through lock screen as well, and that does automatically add the blur effect. Um, I should mention there are some settings that actually aren't configurable. I'm not sure if that will change in later builds or if that's just their vision. Things like the advanced power menu are just automatically on. That's something I love anyway. I wouldn't want to turn it off, but you can't turn it off if you want to. And same thing with the recent button right here. They changed the multitasking button to a, to a clear all button when you're in the... Uh, 
when you're in the recents key and again you can't turn that off if you want to so just a few things there but you can definitely see what PA are trying to do they're trying to give you the settings right when you need them instead of just chucking everything in the settings app and letting you deal with it don't forget there's a lot of development still to come from the PA team it's still in beta there's loads of features they're going to add still so yeah let me know what you guys think of this peace out